Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie and this is our Sabbath week. This is a day in the life video. I'm gonna walk you through kind of what goes on in a normal day on our Sabbath week. If you're not familiar with that kind of schedule, we homeschool and um, I'm a Christian, stay at home, homeschool mom. I have six kids, one more on the way. And the way we do our homeschool schedule is we do six weeks of lessons and then we do one week off where we do all the things. We um, tidy up, we catch up on things that we couldn't get to, we do a little playtime. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of a sneak peek into a day in the life during our Sabbath week. All right. It is August in Texas and it is 81 degrees at 8:53 in the morning. It is so early and it is already getting so hot. So for this Sabbath week, I have planned for us to go to the park every morning um for the whole week. And um this is actually our favorite park. It's, we kind of have nicknamed it Castle Park. You can see why. And I just love it so much, guys. This is um, kind of about half an hour or so drive from us, but it's just beautiful. I love the classic wooden structure and just the whole thing. Um, it's just so fun. It's so big. There's lots of little passageways for the kids to travel across and it's so much fun. But when we got here this morning, it was such a bummer because they had signs up everywhere that they are actually going to be taking down this whole structure and replacing it with a plastic structure um, place that you can see kind of briefly and I'll show you in a minute the little um, like toddler side but look how big and beautiful it is guys it is awesome it is seriously so much fun it's so magical so friendly so so just wonderful for children guys this is the classic stuff that doesn't need to be taken away i don't know why they're removing it um they said because some of the pieces of wood were broken and uh, we're just so dumb so bummed about it because it is like i said it is our seriously our favorite and i love these classic play structures that are made out of wood and they are disappearing rapidly from society this is what they're going to replace it with something similar to this and yes this is safe and sterile and fun but oh look how cute hi twins <laughs> but this is not quite the same it doesn't have the same play factor even my big kids when they came over they they were playing on this part too and they were just like this is not as fun it's not as magical there's not as much make-believe imagination that happens on these it's just very sterile that's what my husband called it very sterile and that's that's kind of how it is but this is this is what they're going to replace it with so we are super bummed it said that it's going to be in november so we are going to try and squeeze out as many times as we can to get to this playground look at the parking lot can you believe this we are literally the only people here i'm not sure if that is because it's a um super early in the morning or if this is just all the kids are back in school and that's kind of a homeschool perk <laughs> the parks are empty so anyway we are spending the whole um we're actually only going to spend about an hour here but every morning this week we're going to the park and just enjoying ourselves, just making sure we get that extra play time in. And uh, look how much fun they're having. They love it. <laughs> There's just so many things, but look at this guy. I had to do that in slow motion, right? <laughs> and this is my three-year-old. Aw, love you too, buddy. <laughs> look how cute. Look at that fire, little fire truck. Okay, my five-year-old wants me to adventure with him up here. I am going to try. Oh my goodness, here we go. Um, yeah, I am definitely <laughs> not as um, able as I was when I was not pregnant. If you don't already know, I have six kids, and um, they range in age from three to ten, and we are actually pregnant with number seven. 
I can't believe, I don't know if I've actually been up here and looked at how far you can see. That's kind of cool. Anyway, look at all the little mazes and little passageways. It's so much like a castle. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm way too pregnant to be doing this. <laughs> so baby is coming um, like end of November. That's what they're saying um, around Thanksgiving. Um, technically, the due date's December 5th, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I always have babies early, so we'll see. I'm anticipating Thanksgiving-ish. But yeah, look at all this. They have all these pieces blocked off and whatnot. I don't know. It's kind of a bummer. It's really sad to see these last remaining wooden play sets start to disappear. This is actually, there's two. This is one that we really love because it's close to our home. Yeah, I can't go down there, dude. <laughs> You're on your own. I'm going to take the other way. But there's another one that we actually go to a lot as well. So I think we're going to have to spend more time there. Look at all the water. All the water, all the things, of course. These guys, those are my three boys. Yay. Oh my goodness. Yes, finally, here comes my helper. This is my second daughter. She is coming with the snack bag, our family backpack. Looks like a couple other people are starting to arrive. And of course, we have all the snacks and all the things. We are getting hungry. I can't believe how hot it is. It is so hot. Ah, uh, I don't know what the temperature is now, but it's definitely gone up. It has definitely gone up because we are so sweaty and burning up. <laughs> I think we're going to have to call it a day and start heading back home. Yeah, we are way too hot. <laughs> oh, that's my crew. All right, lunchtime at home. Here we are, guys. I am just doing something simple. We're just doing simple little sandwiches, some like peanut butter, some like uh, meat and cheese. So we're just doing some simple, simple lunch here. Just nothing fancy, just real simple. And they are all so exhausted and hot from our morning. It is, um, it's just going to be kind of a, a relaxed day. So we're going to spend a little bit of time now after lunch just relaxing. I've got one drawing, a couple, pretty much everybody else is just watching a little movie and vegging out. Because like I said, this is our Sabbath week. So we are not doing school this week. Um, we are going to do some chores. I have one chore assigned every day this week. So we are going to do a chore later, but we'll get to that in a minute. But there's Sweetie, our puppy. She is loving fetch, but it is so hot. So we are going to play fetch inside right now because it is too hot for the rest of us to venture out and, and uh, play with you right now. So we're going to play this way right here inside the house. This works, right? <laughs> she never wants to give it back. I've never had a dog that wanted to actually play fetch like this one does. It's super fun. This is my son's dog, actually. Okay, that's my favorite. I love when she throws her legs back like that. It is so cute. Oh, her name is Sweetie. Did I tell you that? Yeah, she loves to play fetch. And that's our old dog, Chloe. She's a little a bit more cautious around her. <laughs> it is even so hot that my twins are having a picnic inside on the kitchen floor they spread out this blanket and grabbed bananas and told me it was time for a picnic but inside the house which is perfect because they're about to go take a nap it is almost their quiet time so they're going to get a snack and then quiet time So this is kind of typical. This is our quiet time activity. The big kids are all for playing Minecraft. I actually decided to make this educational because I wasn't sure if this was like too much screen time. So since we're studying Egypt this year, um, I have had them, this isn't it on this screen, but I have had them uh, start building like Egyptian stuff. And my husband downloaded this like Egypt pack and anyway, they have really gone to town and enjoyed that. And it makes me feel better about them playing, playing this all the time, I guess. <laughs> but, you know, it's educational now. 
So this is kind of their quiet time activity and it is almost done and it is now time for us to start our chores. Um, so today's chores are tidying up the schoolroom. It has only been six weeks of school, but it is already a huge, huge mess. Um, yeah, so if you missed my other video where I showed a huge overhaul of this room, um, you should check that out. But we are just tidying up the schoolroom and we're also tidying up um, outside on the porch. So that is my seven year old sweepy sweep. And um, there's just oh, all the things to clean. So each day we're doing a different thing. It's been quite busy, but also productive doing it this way. So it has actually worked out really well. I'm glad for that. This is Mother Hen. She has four little babies. Aren't they precious? And she did not actually hatch these. She went broody and wanted to hatch babies, but it's so hot here that they weren't hatching. So we um, picked up some at the store and gave them to her and she has taken them in, adopted four little babies. And they are the sweetest things because they are constantly following her around and she takes them to different parts of the yard and up to the porch and all the things. It's fun. So we've enjoyed watching that. Oh my goodness. We are still tidying in the schoolroom. Okay. That's got to be like my new comedian. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so we're redoing the train table for the little guys. Um, just kind of picking up, tidying up, making it, putting things back in order because if you, um, also homeschool you know how quickly things get crazy and it doesn't even take any time at all it seems like it's just instant so anyway we're trying to get a handle on that before it is too much out of control <laughs> yep so much to do right always 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 all right i think it looks good uh, it's not 100%, but it is way better than it was. I'm actually quite pleased. This looks good. I'm okay with this. That's a big cage that we have a sick cat that we're tending to, so he's also in here. Okay, what else do I do during Sabbath week? I plan for the next term. So here I am planning for term two. I'm planning all the things. These are kind of my goals. Um... I talked about it in my term one video a little bit, but this is kind of what's going down for the next six weeks. So hopefully that'll be productive. Of course, we have to celebrate our accomplishments with an ice cream party. It is Sabbath week after all. So we are going to enjoy ice cream cones. We celebrated our hard day's work and this crazy heat that we are cooling off from look at my chalkboard on my porch it broke I'm so sad about it but I'm hoping we can put it back together because I love decorating it but it's just not to be right now we'll have to get it fixed <laughs> all the ice cream right <laughs> Oh, Maverick. This is our baby. Um, he's still a baby. He's We bottle fed this. This is our bull. We bottle fed him. And this is Maverick. He is the sweetest little thing. And he he's like a big teddy bear. Seriously. He just wants to like be with us and cuddle with us. It's kind of funny. I'm hoping he stays this way. I'm not anticipating he will. But we are hoping he does. And those are our mama cows, aren't they pretty? Daisy on the left and Belle on the right. Hoping to have new babies soon, probably um, sometime in winter, which isn't really ideal for delivering new babies, but that is what's gonna probably happen. So it'll be fine. Unless we have the winter we had this past year where we had snow for a week in Texas. That was wild. But anyways, this is Maverick. He, he seriously, see, he wants to like come in on the other side and like join us. <laughs> Look how big our turkeys are. They have grown so big. Um, yeah, we, we hatched these suckers and they are growing and raising. Um, 
very, very well. We're hoping to butcher at least one around Thanksgiving and hopefully keep a set, a male female set for breeding purposes. We will see. I'm hoping we have something like that. We're actually a little bit thinking that three of them might be males. We'll see. We're not exactly sure. They're, we're due to turkeys, so we're not exactly sure. But we have some new ones that we recently hatched in our incubator. These are the babies. So if we don't have male, female on the other side, we have these other guys. I don't know if you can see them very well. It's kind of tricky with this the way this their fence is, but there they are. They are so hot because it is just hot in Texas. So anyway, those are the turkeys, yay. Okay guys, thanks for watching. This is kind of how a day in the life with a Sabbath week goes. Uh, it has all the things, a little bit of work, a little bit of play, a little bit of organizing and kind of re-putting things back together so we can start back for term two fresh. Um, yeah, if you guys haven't yet subscribed, please do that now. If you can uh, like the video, share them and leave a comment because I would love to know what you think. And um, <laughs> this is Basil. He is one of our little barn cats. He's joining us today because he's stuck inside for a little while because he got attacked and we had to take him to the doctor and get all kinds of things. And anyways, he is living in our little schoolroom now. So he's not too happy about that because he's used to being outside <laughs> a lot more. But anyways, um, hit the notification bell if you guys um, haven't already so that you can receive all the updates. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.